Hello beautiful people and welcome to the first episode in which we, yes, we have to evaluate Mr. Leon. So let me scroll all the way down and find Mr. Leon because I unlocked him and I highly recommend you guys actually to do the same and use the lucky treasure. And let's have a look at this hero which looks kind of like snake eyes but he has a couple of things on top and we're definitely going to test this versus snake eyes. So first look at the hero skill. It's an exclusive hero just for the army you get an 50 percent hp boost and after that the first two rows we're gonna get two stacks of this hostile and you know that also from snake eyes you get hit he's gonna hit you back but this guy has a couple of things on top first of all we do indeed have to mention that the first two rows we're also gonna get one stack of resistance now, as of right now, this is kind of not working, but if you really want to see exactly what the resistance is, all you have to do is to go to your yellow heavy trooper, just click on this skill right here, and when you press on resistance, that's exactly what it is. It's going to negate one time the damage. And this will going to play a role in just a second. Let's go back to Leon. So... Obviously, super important to pay attention, especially when it comes down to the runes, this guy has a passive skill, does not have an active skill. And this passive skill is basically him hitting back with 90% damage on the slot which has the lowest HP, which is a good thing to focus fire and get rid of one opponent's slot. But here's another tool coming on top, because if your opponent succeeds to trigger all six hostile effects from slot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, then you're going to get one extra hit of 15% damage. Snake Eyes doesn't have that. And why not? They added something on top. Because if you are using this hero to defend something, then you're going to get three times this bonus damage, not just one time. Good. Let's have a look at the level 5 exclusive skill before we jump into the battle reports. And yeah, the level 3 is absolutely obvious. Let's have a look at the level 5. So you get another 30% HP boost, which is kind of super awesome. But what's even more crazier, it's of course getting another 45% damage on this hostile here. So when you're hitting back, it does not include the bonus damage. That value remains the same. So let's have a look also at the level 7 exclusive skill, even though it's very irrealistic nowadays. Which definitely looks strong, I'm not gonna lie, because now all your slots we're going to get this hostile effect. So going to hit back. Meaning, in other words, also pay attention. This hero is exclusively only for the tanks. Therefore, do not use the encyclement units. Otherwise, it's not going to work and you wasted your money on a level 7 exclusive skill. And of course, on top of this, the level 7 will going to give you an extra 25% damage increase to this hostile effect. And again, the bonus hit will remain the same. Now, what I have done is exactly what I'm suggesting to you guys also. Because, yeah, we have the hero trial, even though you cannot use the heavy troopers in here. The formations, Valhalla units, and the titan gear, you still pretty much get a solid idea when it comes down to the performance. And I've done 10 attacks, just like the way you see it right now on the screen. I'm using Paul Striker and Mr. Leon versus Paul Striker and Snake Eyes. And here are the battle reports, all 10 of them. And from this perspective, Leon looks stronger than snake eyes roughly around 20 percent and i'm gonna take one specific battery port in order to dig a little more deeper and this is the exact battery port in which i want to have a look so of course the outcome of this battle heavily relies on the performance of the other two heroes that's absolutely logic but there is indeed a difference between snake eyes and leon and first, let me mention that I did indeed give Snake Eyes a good chance because in all these 10 attacks, Mr. Leon is the attacker. In other words, he doesn't have three extra hits, just only one. So let's talk about the resistance because yes, indeed, Mr. Snake Eyes has also the resistance, sadly, on level 7, but this hero has it already and it's pretty awesome. Obviously, of course, depends a lot on your opponent, what kind of units he's using. In other words, if he uses planes, doesn't quite advantage you that much or of course if he's using mr duke he's always gonna hit the back rows meaning in other words yes it's a possibility for your opponent to reduce leon's performance but that was the case with snake eyes also but let's play 
this banner report in order for me to talk a little bit about this. So we are seeing Leon being downstairs and Mr. Snake Eyes is upstairs. And you're going to see downstairs that bubble, which represents basically this resistance. I'm getting hit. Then that bubble goes away. But I also will not take any damage. Just like Snake Eyes has that with the level 7. Now, when it comes down to slots 1, 2, 3... If your opponent will gonna use tanks, you're definitely gonna get an advantage because all his regular attacks will gonna hit slots one, two, three. Meaning, in other words, yes, indeed, you're gonna have a very high chance that the slots four, five, and six will gonna keep that resistance when the opponent's hero will gonna proc, which is a far higher damage. And even if it's just one hit, that's gonna be zero damage on you. That's the first difference. Snake Eyes can have that also, but you really have to spend $1,800, aka the level 7. So what's the conclusion between Leon and Snake Eyes? Obviously, Leon is slightly better than Snake Eyes and giving you far more option, which you can technically also get from Snake Eyes, but it costs you $1,800. So from this perspective, I see Leon being better than Snake Eyes, but then again, First of all, Snake Eyes is an older hero and also we have to mention that Snake Eyes is no longer in this setup kind of the best setup what we have for tanks right now aka in the next episode we're gonna test this setup versus Nilly, Quilly and Marvy. That's now the difference between two of them but of course in the hero trials there is one very important key element which we cannot use and honestly speaking is not such a bad idea and you guessed it guys that's the titan gear so from this perspective if you would run such a setup like this what would be the best runes which you can use but of course taking in consideration that you are not the one deciding which runes you can aim for it's actually a very bad designed system which is going to give you a random rune and at the end of the day you gonna have to deal with it or in other words figure out the way to actually use that rune so from this perspective these setups which are running right now both of them the best runes for them will definitely going to be the damage increase and damage decrease especially on snake eyes or on mr leon when it comes down to the other two heroes both have active skills even if you use marvin instead of mr striker in here on these heroes then again you have the opportunity to use whichever runes you have you can even put ignition on them if you want to because both heroes, the offense buffing hero and the indestructible hero have an active skill. So beautiful people, this is my first evaluation on Mr. Leon. As always, let me know in the comments your thoughts regarding this hero. And of course, in one week from now, we're going to have the second hero, which I already mentioned. But for those of you which have not seen the video, we are looking at a hero similar to to Lila, similar to Duke, and that hero is with an indestructible buff and exclusively just for Navy. So beautiful people, as always, yeah, you see me still doing videos for Top War, so yeah, there's no reason to not support what supports you back, and the best way to do it is actually 100% free, meaning subscribe to this channel, watch my videos, share this channel with your friends, thank you very much for watching, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Ciao, ciao, ciao.